Hello everyone and welcome to the Starseed Dragon channel. This is our intuitive exercise for the day and we are using the Deviant Tarot today. We've got a couple oracle cards. Um, so let's get started. Um, we have the World, Judgment, Temperance, the Hierophant, the Hermit, and the Knight of Wands. So we have five major arcanas, right? So major arcanas are major events and situations in our life that will not go unnoticed. So this is like a big turning point, right? Um, suit of Wands is fire energy, fire element, and um, that rolls over creativity, action, um, entrepreneurship, uh, intuitive nudges. Um, the world is about uh, ending a major cycle and beginning a new one, right? Uh, the judgment is about awakening to something, expanding your life and awakening to a new one, right? Um, all about um, expansion and enlightenment, right? Temperance is about patience and uh, alchemy, right? So the angel in temperance is, um, it's uh, using all of the elements, blending them together to manifest something, right? So um, it takes a great deal of patience and persistence and uh, blending everything just right so everything is balanced properly. The Hierophant is about, it used to be called the Pope card, but um, it's about authority, education, um, tradition, right? So um, it's about um, not just education, but uh, teaching, right? So it's um, going to a higher authority that is knowledgeable, that is going to teach you a lesson. And uh, they also enforce uh, traditional beliefs, right? Um, it, you know, whatever that may be in your own world, uh, whether it's uh, the tr traditions of your culture or the traditions in your family uh, or the traditions that you create in your own life that make sense to you, right? The hermit is about going within and doing the shadow work and seeing the darkness and acknowledging it and shining light upon it. Um, when you go into your own shadows uh, and acknowledge and befriend uh, those darker sides of yourself, uh, you end up having a deeper understanding of yourself and you shine your light on it on the different aspects of yourself, which helps you to create that balance in temperance, right? And it also helps you to learn more about yourself, right? So those, uh, those cards really um, connect with each other in that sense, right? Uh, when you shine your light from within, you can guide yourself to the life that you were meant to live. So the Hermit card is a very um, auspicious card. Uh, the Knight of Wands, this is the player of the Knights, right? Uh, in the court cards. Uh, knights are the messengers, but not just the messengers because pages deliver messages, right? But uh, the knights uh, not only are the messengers, but they are messengers of offers, right? So uh, the knight of wands 
offers fire element uh, uh, type of things, creativity, inspiration, um, and it's fast moving and action oriented, right? So uh, they inspire you to move forward quickly, right? Uh, the Knight of Wands is known as the player of the uh, of the knights uh, because they 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 come in and they leave as quickly as they come in, right? So it's very fast moving and it's it's never a um, a steady stream. It's never a steady presence. It comes in and then it leaves. It comes in and then it leaves. Um, so it's not it's. You know, when you're doing a love reading, <laughs> you don't you don't want to see a Knight of Wands, right? Uh, because that's the player. It, you know, that's the one that comes in, um, gives you a little bit of loving or a little bit of love bombing, if you will, and then leaves. You know, at, and uh, you probably won't hear from him again, right? So um, that is the aspect of the Knight of Wands that a lot of people don't like to see, especially in love readings, right? So how are these connecting to you? Which card uh, did your eye instantly go to? That's the card that you wanna start with and just take a deep breath and just let your intuitive nudges guide you to the next card. Um, that's how you can inspire your um, your intuitive nature to uh, see the messages that you were meant to see, right? So what is it that you are seeing? What messages are you seeing? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, uh, I usually, personally, I usually use the Oracle cards to either confirm the messages that I've received or add to them. So today we got the Wisdom of the Oracle. So let's see what we got here. Round and round, number 25. And right, right in the middle, that's where the Oracle is on this card. Beautiful. So round and round, let me read uh, from the guidebook. Number 25. Four, twenty-five. Okay, so round and round, essential meanings. The spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. The Oracle's message. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward, the truth is that you are standing at a higher level looking down into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned. Relationship message. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar? Don't be surprised that you've found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as you get to do things again, only differently this time, for you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? 
remain curious and stay out of the blame game. Well, that connects with the messages from the Hierophant, the Hermit, the Knight of Wands and Temperance. Also judgment, right? And the world, well, it connects to all of them, right? Um, prosperity message. If you're in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life, it is because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. This is a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you have and your attraction to the opportunities and people who have entered your life to be part of your journey to prosperity. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are the familiar signs and your responses to them? When you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past. It's a good time to get a coach or a mentor who can help you see what you can't on your own. Repeat what works, not what doesn't. Then you will free yourself from the old cycles and cease going round and round. Beautiful. And then we have Into the Lonely Woods, my favorite oracle. Let's see what we got. Death Moves Amongst Us, number 25. Isn't that beautiful? I love the illustrations on um, all of these cards. They're just gorgeous. So number 25, let me read from the book. 25. Death Moves Among Us. With the full expression of this life comes the knowledge that death walks among us. Within every breath and every step dwells the morality, or I'm sorry, mortality, so many fear. Do not deny this ending. Honor those who have left this life without ceremony, ritual, respect. Acknowledge that they are no longer here in the same way, for there will be many deaths in your life. Learn to live with this truth so that death is not a fearful enemy, but a gateway to another life. You have been so many forms. Before we can become again, we must pass through death's gateway and let our souls wander free for a time. We can then wisely choose what comes next on the path of the soul. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. That really, that really connects for me with the hermit and the judgment cards uh, specifically. Um, how do they connect for you? Let me know in the uh, comment section below. I really appreciate all of your comments and um your different perspectives. I learn a great deal from all of you as I hope that you learn something from me um, because uh, caring is sharing, right? Uh, and I appreciate you all that that um, uh, come to join us. Um, I, I love seeing your comments and uh, I really appreciate you guys. You're, you're very uh, wonderful soul tribe that I am blessed to be a part of and I appreciate that. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video.